emotional consideration paid for by the following. This is awesome! This is awesome! Hello and welcome to Cheap Shot Entertainment. I'm your host Luke and I'm here with me, Connor. I'm me, back. Connor. He's back. This guy. And he's causing a little bit of mayhem. I don't know. Not for long. Not for long. Bless At least until his next match anyway. Um, and we're going to go through everything that happened at Elimination Chamber from the Wells Fargo Centre and it took place on the 8th of March 2020. And uh, yeah, overall, I thought it was a pretty decent pay per view, to be honest. Yes, fantastic WWE pay per view. Um, as as far as pay per views go, best pay per view yeah, of the year. Definitely, oh, definitely um, one of the best that I've seen in recent years, and it remained so until the main event, the very end. Um, but we'll we'll get to that as we go through the matches. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, join us on Instagram, Twitter, and all the social media bits. But we're going to get straight into this one. This week, what a pre show match! Woo. And it Woo. is the Viking Raiders taking on Hawkins and Ryder. Face versus face. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know it. Um, Viking Raiders beat Hawkins and Ryder. Shockingly. Shockingly, and Hawkins and Ryder go back to YouTube and reviewing wrestling figures, which is a brilliant show actually. I didn't think I'd ever get into something like that, but it's actually quite funny. And it's quite cool, because they pick up all these old school toys. I'm going to let you into a little guilty pleasure of mine. <coughs> I like watching wrestling figure stop motion. Oh, thankful for that. Oh, 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 oh. I, I was going to say something else then. <laughs> <laughs> this is not for kids. Uh, straight up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a really good show actually. Go and check it out. Major Brothers Figures. I've watched Major, Major Wrestling Figures podcast. It's cool. I've watched my episode. And they had Hornswog on it last time. Oh. Yeah, which was pretty cool. A little swag. Well, yeah, they uh, just wiped the floor with Hawking the Rider. Um, they did a cool move though. Yeah. The, where he chucks that rider over him and he did the Rough Rider to get Hawking. Yes, he did. Yeah, they that was pretty over. cool. Um, and obviously that went wrong, um, and yeah, it was what it was, it was a pre-show match, but someone's got to start the card somewhere, haven't they? Yeah. Whether it's pre-show or whether you go on first, someone's got to start it, and it was, it was okay for what it was. Got your money's worth. It's a good, it's a good introduction to the pay-per-view. Going on to the main show, mm. we've got one of the... Well, sleeper hits of the night, I think, because yeah, I thought this match, this, this match was brutal. This match um, was probably that match of the night. Yeah, oh, um, um, Daniel Bryan versus Drew Gulak. Again, didn't know anything about this match because they hadn't really announced anything before the show started. Um, but it was a really good match. I really enjoyed this match. The Both guys came out with whelks and cuts and bruises and they were just beating the snot out of each other. There was one uh, very dangerous looking spot with Daniel Bryan where he sort of over-rotated on, on a German suplex. And obviously with his neck problems mm -hmm. um, that looks rather dangerous but uh, he, seemed to, he seemed to know how to, how to land and, and, and... That suplex spot as well, going yeah. to the outside of the room. Yeah, yeah there's that as well. He seemed to know how to land and, and sort of um, took all the took the bump as well as he could so yes he seems okay he was walking out and he did pick up the victory with uh, the bell lock with the bell lock or yes lock what do you want or a yes lock or a no lock or Cross a maybe lock yeah but he picks up the victory and uh, yes. Daniel Bryan wins and gives Gulak a lot of respect uh, at the end of the match which is cool because you know Gulak's a damn good worker who do you think is going to go after Bryan next Really well, at, at, <coughs> if he has at this point, opinion. yeah, at this point, it seems like he's going against the up and comers. They were trying to sort of take him down because he's a legend at this point. To be um, fair, for the past two weeks on SmackDown, he's been looking like Heath Slater. Well, there's that as well, but they've got history, you know. 
But Heath Slater is just there now to um, to be a jobber, isn't he? He's just Which is a shame. To be a jobber. But he's got kids, so he's got to pay the bills somehow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Daniel Bryan wins the first match, and it was a, it was a good match. Sleeper hit the night, in my opinion. Um, US title, Andrade versus Humberto Carrillo. Two Mexicans going for the US Championship. Should be named in Mexican. Um, <laughs> uh, it seems to be that way now, doesn't it? It seems to be you've got the two main championships, the Intercontinental, then the US Championship. And it seems to be like a bridge between the, uh, like the Cruiserweight Championship and mm. the Intercontinental Championship. But these two these two chaps put on, always put on a really good match and they've been fighting each other for months now, haven't they? Yeah. And it continues that little feud and it was, again, it was really good. It was, it was, good. It was a really good opening to the show. And no sign of the Elimination Chamber. They usually do one at the beginning and one at mm. the end. So they had a nice little warm up into the Elimination Chamber matches. Um, but Andrade retained with a roll up. The most devastating move in professional wrestling today. I'm, I'm disappointed in Andrade. Because mm. I think they could use him better. Yeah. That he's obviously, I think he could be world champion material. But obviously Vince McMahon likes bigger than sweaty men. Yes, he does like big sweaty men. But his team to got a US title around the same time he announced his engagement to Charlotte. Mm. Which is a bit fishy in my opinion. A little bit. So maybe he's just, I don't know, maybe he's just going to marry Charlotte just to try and get the world title, I don't know. <coughs> conspiracy. Conspiracy. C-O-N. Conspiracy. C-O-N. Conspiracy. God bless you. Our truth. And I'm not even religious. Um, Saffron. <laughs> so, yeah, gets a roll up victory. Um, kind of a cheap way to win, but it works for his heel persona. We're going to have to do something with Umberto at some point. I, I, he, he can't keep jumping and bouncing around I've read without picking up a title at some Vince point. McMahon has given up on Umberto. Why? He's fantastic. And he's meant to have given up on Shayna, apparently. Well, as we will find out, that is possibly wrong. not the truth. Smackdown Tag Team Elimination Chamber Match for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships. It is Miz and Morrison. Awesome team. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Miz and Morrison. Whoop, whoop. Versus Rude and Ziggler. How oh, rude. <laughs> Heavy Machinery, which is Otis and Tucker. Uh, the New Day, which was Biggie and Kofi. Lucha House Party. I've put Lucha Bros, actually. Lucha House Party, different show. Lucha House Party, which was uh, Lince and, and Grand Metallic. So they're the original members of the sort of Lucha House Party. Anyway. Uh, and not. Um, Kalisto. Yeah, Kalisto has been released, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, so he's not there. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, Grand Metallic and. Uh, Insane. Who actually had a really good show in this match. Yes, they we both had a decent showing. Um, but they did get eliminated quite early on, didn't they? And the, uh, Usos. And the Usos. And the Usos. Do you mean, James? They want to move something more. You want something I prefer that entrance. <coughs> um, so, Ms. Morrison uh, are. Rudin Ziggler, let's get that out of the way first. Rudin Ziggler had won uh, a match to be the last to enter the chamber. Mm. So we knew that was going to be happening. And then in the pod you had Miz and Morrison, Machinery, yeah, and Lucha and, House Party. And Lucha House Party, which means I got some points on the Prediction League because the New Day and the Usos start this match. I don't think I've got any points. You don't have got any points? No, I've got. I had Shayna to win. <coughs> I, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll get that. Sorry, we'll get to that. Spoilers. <coughs> well, you probably will have watched it by now, anyway. Um, but yeah, really, again, really good showing for an elimination chamber match. A match that 
will, is always heavily protected mm. in terms of um, how it's booked. I don't think I've ever seen a bad Illumination Chamber match. I don't know, that Intercontinental title match. Uh, uh, it was good and bad. It, yeah, it was, you know, it's protected. It's a good protected match type, in my opinion. Can't really go wrong booking it. Because as long as you put big spots in there, like we saw from Otis and, and Charge, say, yeah, and Lindsay, Otis Charge took okay. at uh, Dolph Ziggler, and he got out of the way, and he went straight through the Plexan pod to the outside, mm. which led to heavy machinery's elimination. But Big Tuck doing that swanton off the top of the yeah. pod. Big Tucker doing swanton mm. off the top of the pod. Lindsay doing that. Lindsay doing a shooting star press off he, the top of the side. Right, you've got the I mean, focus on the guys dreamer. in the ring, yeah. and all of a sudden you just see some legs dangling from the top of the. And it's like, what's that? And then they zoom out, and you've got. Um, <coughs> was it Lindsay? Yeah, it was Lindsay. Lindsay Dorado hanging from the top of the top of the chamber, and he just pulls himself up, spins round, does a. Uh, shooting star press onto the rest Everybody. of the rest of the field, and it was just wow. You know, more big spots like this, mm. I'd be happy. You know, obviously, I know you can't always do them, but I think this is why they changed the elimination chamber the way they did, so you can get more big spots out of yeah. like this. And also, the reason they put in Plex and glass is so that it can be broken and fixed. Uh, within within uh, a couple of minutes, <coughs> as proven, because the obviously the elimination chamber was fine by the time the women went to Yes. It. Um, but um, yeah, so heavy machinery got eliminated. It came down. What? Who, which two teams did it come down to? It was, New, was it New Day? Um, no, it was the Usos. It was the Usos. Yeah, uh, New Day got eliminated. It came down to the Usos, Miz and Morrison. And uh, yeah, um, Mr. Morris roll up, win again. Get the victory by the roll up. Feet on the rope and Morris did yeah. a flick over yeah. the other leg. So it was quite a cool roll up actually. It was a good variant of the most devastating move in professional the wrestling. A tag team roll up. It was a tag team roll up, something that I've never seen before, to no. be honest, um, which was pretty cool. So uh, Mr. Morrison continue on their di dirt sheet in the future. Yes. Because they are awesome. I think that's leading into a match for Mania, Usos, Miz and Morrison, in my opinion. Yeah, that'd be a good match actually. Um, I think because I think um, when the when the tag titles originally got brought back together as one title, it was Miz and Morrison versus the Hart Dynasty, wasn't it? Was that a Hart Dynasty or Primo? And I think, well, no, it wasn't. It was Primo, wasn't it? Primo and Carlito. It was Primo and Carlito and the Jericho. Show? Car 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 yeah, it was the Hart Dynasty because they got. Did Jericho have them? Jericho Jer 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 had them before because remember Big Show carrying the uh, titles one over one over the other, um, but they united the belts, unified the belts, mm. and then. They got split again <laughs> after a while. So, yeah, uh, Miz and Morrison retain the tag team championships for the blue brand SmackDown. And I would say with Miz and Morrison on there, it would possibly get a lot better over on SmackDown because it has fallen by the wayside recently. And then they've got Goldberg. And they've got Goldberg. And Roman. And The Fiend. Yeah, Bray Wyatt. John Cena's on there. A bit. Yeah, Demons, which is why I don't understand how it's getting such a bad awful rep. Awful rep. Uh, assistance from the ropes and assistance from tag team partner. Yeah, good match. Uh, like I say, uh, elimination chamber is not really something you can mess up, in my opinion. He says. Uh, AJ Styles versus Alistair Black next. I was looking forward to this one. Yes. And again, it did not disappoint. Um, but it was a no DQ, no DQ match. Which made no sense in my opinion. No, it didn't make a lot of sense. Most of the action was in the ring. Um, yeah, like Gallows and Anderson outside. were outside the ring, who didn't really affect proceedings until, um, the, end. until the end. And uh, I was so close to getting points 
for the finish on the I was close as well. So close. Um, because, yeah, AJ Styles could not beat Alistair Black on his own. Um, really good match, as you would expect from these two. You wouldn't expect anything different. A bit like the Mail and DDA match that we saw yesterday at the Spire video coming soon. And, um, yeah, you can't get a bad match out of these two. No. It's just, it, they could wrestle mops and it would be good. It would be entertaining. But, um, as we saw at Blood Money, Yes. Um, there is a feud brewing between AJ Styles and The Undertaker. The fun, Phenomenal One versus The Phenom. Yeah. The pheno Phenom versus The Phenomenal One. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Gallows and Anderson get involved. Yes. You know, AJ's getting frustrated. They beat down Alistair Black. There was a botch. Uh, there, there was a little, little botch. Like Gallows um, punched Anderson in the face. Anderson in the face, yeah. And just as uh, AJ Styles is getting ready for the phenomenal forearm, yes. the lights go out. Bong. Bong hits. Uh, hit bong. The bong. Um, and Undertaker appears in the ring. Old man take himself. Old man take it. Hits the choke slam, double choke slam on Gallows and Anderson, and then, and then takes out uh, AJ Styles with the same move. <laughs> and I actually predicted that the, the match would finish with a choke slam from the Undertaker. But lo and behold, <laughs> Alistair Black had to hit the Black Mass and make me lose points. Damn you, Alistair Black! But he picks up the victory with the Black Mass over AJ Styles. <laughs> Leading into WrestleMania, yay! Woo. Undertaker versus AJ Styles predictions, early predictions for that match. Uh, Styles to win. Styles to win. Yeah, Undertaker's going to pick up his three third, third, third loss. I don't know. AJ Styles is quite a good wrestler, isn't he? I don't think. I don't think he's, he's in his prime. Undertaker. He's in his prime. I don't think it's going to hurt him. I think Undertaker now comes back to have a WrestleMania win, and that's. <coughs> I'm gonna be marking out. Of course you are. Like we said yesterday, for the time it takes one to take to make his entrance at Mania, you can I could do go a out. full lap, I get a cheeseburger, <laughs> yeah, go set out, it over a copper, have a pint, come Buy back some and some and down the cage. Yeah, still come back and you'd only be halfway down the road. Um, unless he comes up for a little vent halfway up anyway. <laughs> unless again one of those platforms he had at WrestleMania 9. Mm. Where he floats out. Let's give him a bike. Oh, no, that must mean you know, he had the buzzard, didn't he? he had the little chariot and the buzzard. The big little bird. Yeah. That was cool. That was like the best part of Rest Me and I, but the match sucked. Yeah, because he was Giant Gonzalez. Didn't really count as one of his matches, to be fair. Um, Raw Tag Team Championships next. On the line, it is the Street Profits, the new tag team champions over on the Red Brand versus Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah, and the disciple Buddy Murphy. Um, standard match, standard yeah. tag team match, really. Yeah, it really was a standard tag team match. All four of these guys are brilliant. They really are. Street In Profits. Craft. Yeah, Street Profits. I'm glad they've finally done something with, because they were just a sideshow uh, for a long time. So they brought them up from NXT, and they were just a sideshow. They kept moving toward, moving to them in the back, and they were doing the bit of shtick, and they didn't re didn't wrestle. No. They didn't put on any any matches. All of a sudden, the tag team championship champions and beating Rollins and Buddy Murphy. So for Rollins to drop that title, bearing in mind it is a tag team title, to the Profits, must be um, big. well big on them. Um, and I know Paul Heyman is. Paul Heyman loves them. Paul Heyman is the one that brought them up, and he's the one that's booking Raw. So uh, good on Paul Heyman. Good well on Paulie. Yeah, well, I'm the Paul Heyman guy. Just one of those, isn't it? Bruce Pritchard guy. Bruce Pritchard is cool. Hashtag Smackdown. But well, he's got no, uh, no dress sense. Can you see what he, what he wears on the Ruthless Aggression? Yes. 
um, it's like a blue shirt and a pink tie, and yeah. it's like, uh, did someone not tell you that doesn't go together? You know, but it used to be brother love. He did used to be brother love, and that was also. Um, and he had a really red face. He did have a very red face. I like that. I love you. He used to be Undertaker manager as well. He's on the ball to me. And then Paul Heyman, it'll be Paul Heyman. Yeah, Paul Heyman came in. And Paul <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Street Profits win with a frog splash to Buddy Murphy. That move that Angelo Dawkins did to Seth Rollins. Pounces him into the Yeah, he pounced him into the bag. Yeah, like after, after Kevin Owens had come down through the crowd popcorn. eating popcorn, through the popcorn in Rollins' face. Uh, Angelo Dawkins pounced into the barrier mm. and a power bomb to Buddy Murphy into the opposite barrier, wasn't it? And then threw him in, frog splash on Murphy. Yeah. One, two, three. And it's Street Profits for the win. They retain their tag team championships. Good match. Kevin Owens stunned. Yes, he did. He stunned Steph after. Steph, Seth afterwards. And poured popcorn all over popcorn all over Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. That was a cool little act of defiance. And this is where the uh, pay per view takes a downturn. I think I fell asleep during this match. Yeah, you did, you had it. Bear in mind, I've been up since 6 15 yesterday morning. By the time the pay per view finished, I was nearly awake for 24 hours. My name's Jeff, I've been at the hospital, and I love wrestling. It's not like a wrestler's anonymous <laughs> meeting, dude. You? you don't need to confess your sins. Save that. Save that for your confession session with the Messiah of the Spire, Reverend Luke Edwards. That's it, and SF one is coming. No. There's only one Messiah of professional wrestling. There you have it. And that's the Reverend. The Undertaker. Here's the female. Anyway, Intercontinental <laughs> Championship is on the line next. Is Braun Strowman, who is the Intercontinental Champion. First title outside of the Saudi tag Arabia. titles and outside of Saudi Arabia. The Braun Strowman. But he's only had it for like a month. month yeah, long. he's not had it for very long and he wouldn't keep it for very long either. Uh, it's a 3 on 1 handicap match and Sami Zayn says to Cesaro and to Nakamura that he's going to take Braun Strowman on his own. But he doesn't say stay in the back, he says stay on the apron. So I don't think that really happened. I'll pass this over to you because I was out to the world during this. All match. I remember the way it ended. I was um, awake for the way it ended. Braun Strowman went for a, a like, corner spear. Mm. Cesaro moved out of the way. Shinsuke King Shasta into the post, yeah. and then Cesaro and Shinsuke picked Braun up. Haluva kick, yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three for the win. So it was Haluva kick, and it's all Zayn um, picking up the victory. Yeah, it's good for him. First yeah. victory he's picked up in like a year or so. It's definitely first title he's held in five years. As as boring as the match was. I'm quite happy with Zayn picking up the championship. It furthers the feud between him and Strowman. And that's the end of the light. So Zayn picks up the victory uh, after some help from his friends. The former Intercontinental Champion Nakamura. And I think uh, Cesaro, has Cesaro had the IC title? No, the US. He had the US title, former US champion, Antonio Cesaro. I think Sam Zayn should bring up the old, old generic gimmick. That would be pretty cool, actually. That would be pretty cool. On on side note, um, you know, both Nakamura and Cesaro are fantastic. On their own. On their own and they're kind of being misused in this trio. Really, because they're, well, some of these bitches, aren't they? Okay. Basically. Um, Non-PG show. I never say it's for kids anyway. You have to tick a box now. Don't put age restriction on. That's what parents need to do, isn't it? Anyway, that's my opinion. 
by the way. It's all opinion, it's all subjective. Um, What's abusive? Definitely not, who's you now? <laughs> <laughs> Raw Women's Champion, shit. He's on the line in, uh, well, it's actually the number one contendership, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it's the Raw Women's Championship, number one contendership. To face Becky and Mania. To face Becky Lynch at Mania, the man <laughs> in a elimination chamber. Lib. Lib. <laughs> Lib. Obviously very political. Um, <laughs> Asuka versus Sarah Logan versus Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler, Baszler versus Ruby Riot versus Natalia. And it starts off with Ruby Riot and Natalia. Mm. Um, a lot of history. Yeah, got quite a lot of history there. Ruby Riot coming off the back of a very lengthy injury. Um, mm. It's good to see her back, actually. Yeah. It's good to see Ruby Riot back. Uh, and jumped straight into a match like this. <laughs> no, no real build up. She did well, bless her. The only build up really was for Shane Baszler, and I'm sure we'll get on to that and the reason that we were all quite annoyed by the end of it. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it kind of what is Sarah, Sarah Logan. Liv Morgan was in a pod, wasn't she? Yeah, Sarah Logan was Sarah in a pod. Sarah Logan Oscar was in a pod. And Ruby Riot and, and Natalie started. Yeah. Um, it was then Sarah Logan that she came out with her do the double knees. The double knees onto Natalia. Not onto Natalia, like horrid. And that was into Liv Morgan's pod. And then that crossbody at the top of the pod. Yeah, the crossbody as well. Caught Natalia in the face. Yeah. I'm surprised if she didn't have a concussion. So it was very much a, a case of. Um, Veterans versus what people that needed to prove themselves in <coughs> Liv Morgan, um, Sarah Logan. And I would say, probably Ruby Wright, as, as experienced as she is, mm. she's come up from NXT, uh, perhaps even before her time should have been, mm. and she's proved herself. Well, then, like I say, she's had that long, lengthy injury. Yeah, like the, the Riot Squad, all three members of the Riot Squad are in this match. And they Obviously they're before. not the Riot Squad anymore. Half would have done a bit of a reunion. Um, you would have thought they would might have teamed up against uh, who would be coming next. Yes. Um, but obviously Liv Morgan was still in the pot at this point. Which was Shane Baszler. She just ran rush up over everybody. She's the female version of Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Um, if it was done in a different way, I could get behind this. I'm a big Shane Baszler fan. I think if she um, came in last. I loved her in NXT. And like you say, if she had come in last, it, it might have had more of an impact. But the way they did it, I didn't like. Because she got rid of the three other competitors. She got rid of nothing. Sarah Logan first, then Ruby Riot, then Natalia. So there was no point in having them in the map. It was like... Why? Why bother? I mean, like the first 30 seconds she got rid of Yeah, she got rid of and then she was it. prancing around the ring for the next four and a half minutes. Then Liv Morgan came in, bless her. Yeah, she tried. Uh, bless her, she that tried. Swing to the pod. Swing to the, the swing to the cage, swing to the pod. Um, and just choked out in front of Oscar. Yeah, and um, the whatever, Kimura. Is it the Kimura now? It's an arm. Kokina Clutch. Kokina Clutch. Thank is you, that Josh. One? Or is that the one that Joe does? They're all bloody the same. They're all just a sleeper hole. That's really. one of the million dollar sleeper hole. Yeah, well, it's a million dollar dream, but it's slightly different. I'll give you a million dollar dream and a bit, baby. Not even two pence, Connor. <laughs> Are you going to talk to Chloe again? <laughs> no. Uh, so yeah, and then Ask is giving it all the all the dig. Her English has improved. Yeah. Stupid, stupid. Stupid. And she was really entertaining while she was in the pod. I want to know what she was saying in Japanese though. And it didn't translate into the match. And this is perhaps the most disappointing thing for me. Asuka was undefeated in NXT. She was a trailblazer for the women's revolution in NXT. They bring her up to the main roster, they job her out to Charlotte. She's clawed and fought her way back 
to prominence again. What won the tag team championship? Well, she's held a couple of singles championships as well, and she's beaten really big players to get them. Yeah. So she's still relevant. She's still got, you know, it's the women's tag team championship. Yes, they've. I mean, this time last year, they were crowning the inaugural women's tag team champions mm. in Bailey and Sasha Banks, and now they've completely messed it up. Is there a way back for them? I don't know, but they're going to have to really try hard. Um, she gets in, gets Shayna Baszler, who's just come up from NXT, gets choked out, and that's the end of the match. I wish she could have gone on a bit longer, but... She didn't do anything significant. They've really messed up this chamber match. And I try and be positive about everything. The only positive is that Shayna Baszler's, Baszler's going for the championship. Uh, uh, no, the second positive, Liv Morgan looked good. Yeah, Liv Morgan looked good until she got her head caved in. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they just they messed up the booking for me. At least we to be back here before like 10 to 3. Yeah, uh, they messed up the booking and I try and be positive for everything, including WWE, but they really did mess this one up. It was the first time. I wasn't even this angry when Goldberg picked up the title against oh, the Oh, I was. I was fuming. Um, I was really quite annoyed by this one. Not that, not about the winner, but the way it was booked. And I think it could have gone longer, uh, considering it was the main event. Yeah. As well. And you built a whole pay-per-view around this main event. But I was just thinking... Revolution. Because it was so power. short that... The someone could have came down like, I don't know, Ronda Rousey or Becky yeah. Lynch. It was quite a short match, but that was because of the way it was booked. And kind of because of, the, because of who they put in there. Well, you've got Charlotte going somewhere else. Bailey's the champion over on SmackDown. I don't even know where Sasha Banks is. They could have done with a bit more star power in there. She's should probably turn into a YouTuber like Oscar. Um, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Subscribe. Um, and for me, it, was, it could have done with one more star, I think. Who liked it? I don't know. Nia Jax? It, it would have been quite cool to see, to see Nia Jax make a, make a return for this one. Mm. I think she could have uh, dominated. Well, I, I, thought, I thought Asuka was going to give Shane a bit of a run for her money. Yeah. But she didn't. But rumour has it, Asuka was injured. Still could have given a bit more. Yeah. Never did don't want to ruin my ask you. Um But yeah, that is the end of the pay per view. And uh, although the pay per view was very good, I I thought it was a very, very solid seven out of ten. I give it a seven point five or eight. And very, very solid seven, maybe a bit more. Um the last couple of matches, apart from Sami Zayn winning, apart from the winners in those matches, I thought the matches were, well, certainly the Sami Zayn match was boring. And um, the last match with booked well. I'm not saying that I'd be a better booker, but I know what I like in professional wrestling, and I know what entertains me, and that match just didn't. Mm. And it was an elimination chamber match, so it should have. Even if it came to the same conclusion, it should have been entertaining, and it wasn't. And I think uh, I think I can speak for most of us when I say that. Mm. Um, but that is your elimination chamber pay per view for 2020 going into WrestleMania. Yes, which is on the 5th of April. We we'll may do a live video on that one, depending, obviously, um, which would be pretty cool. <coughs> uh, but in the meantime, if you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like the video. And join us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Yeah, and Blogger as well. If you still and you follow you on Babyface. Yeah, Babyface app, I was like right, the Babyface app. Tumblr. Um, not Tumblr, it's Twitter. Say bye, Bell.
<laughs> I'm gonna keep that on now. His name, name will Aya. Super Pop Bell. Super Pop Bell. Aya! <laughs> um, and that has been your review of or well, everything that's happened so far. Good of the at, world. Um, uh, Elimination Chamber on the 8th at the Wells Fargo Centre. We'll see you at WrestleMania. We'll see you for more videos, more quick shot reviews on the movie section of the channel. And uh, yeah, we're going to do an Easter special for the movies as well. Oh, I've got some ideas. Hop. The banging film. Uh, I wasn't planning on that, but all will be revealed later on. And we'll see you next time. You are, you are the Cheap Shot Nation. I've been here with... This guy. That guy. Connor. And I'm your host, Luke. And uh, <coughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you. <coughs> Goodbye. <coughs>